If I were him, I wouldn't go swimming now. These jellyfish are called sea nettles. Nettles, because as you may have guessed, they sting like crazy. And if you're the least bit intelligent, you know not to touch jellyfish. If on the other hand you like jellyfish, I suggest you visit this lake. Here you'll find a species of jellyfish that doesn't sting. Basically what happened is that 12,000 years ago, the ocean level dropped, creating a lake in this area. This species found itself stuck here, with no predators. It lost its ability to sting because it was no longer needed. But if you ever get stung, here's what to do about it. And no, don't urinate on it. A jellyfish stings because its tentacles are covered with cells containing small poisonous needles. When you touch it, the cell breaks and propels the needle into your skin, releasing the venom. The problem is that this phenomenon is purely mechanical. Touch it, it goes off. That's why you can still be stung by dead jellyfish on the beach, or even by baby jellyfish. And it's also why urinating on a sting is likely to do more damage. If there are any jellyfish cells left on your skin that haven't yet fired their needles, urinating on them will potentially trigger them. You'll be stung all over again.